chapter 8 communicable and deficiency diseases time to think find out the names of five healthcare agencies working in your area 1 2 3 4 5 food gives us energy that helps us to work the food we eat every day is called our diet. To remain healthy and strong, we should have a balanced diet. Our food should have enough nutrients so that we grow and stay healthy. The food that we eat contains seven main nutrients. 1. Proteins 2. Carbohydrates 3. Fats 4. Vitamins 5. Minerals 6. Fibers or roughage 7. Water Sometimes we feel weak and tired. Our body doesn't work with ease. Disease is the deviation of the body from its normal or healthy state. There are mainly two types of diseases. Types of diseases 1. Communicable diseases some diseases spread from one person to another. They are called communicable or infectious diseases. Sometimes you catch diseases like common cold, chicken pox, eye flu, etc. from others. Communicable diseases are caused due to germs. If germs enter the body, a person can fall ill because germs damage the body cells. These germs can be transferred to other people who come in contact with the diseased person. Different types of germs cause different diseases. 1. Bacteria cause diseases like tuberculosis, typhoid and pneumonia. 2. Viruses cause diseases like polio, measles, viral fever and common cold. Three. Protozoa causes diseases like malaria and dysentery. We get infected due to various reasons. Through air, some diseases are caused by the bacteria present in the air. When a diseased person coughs, sneezes or spits, germs from his body enter the air. When a healthy person breathes in this air, germs enter his body. Viral fever, common cold, Chicken pox and influenza are some diseases spread by the germs in the air through infected food and water. When food and water are not stored properly, they can get infected by different insects and small animals like cockroaches, flies, rats, etc. If we touch this food and water with dirty hands, we get caught by the germs. The milk of diseased cows and the flesh of sick animals do carry germs. When we eat or drink such contaminated food, we get sick. Diseases like food poisoning, diarrhea, cholera, typhoid, tuberculosis and jaundice spread through infected food and water. Varicella vaccine is highly effective in protecting against servers chicken pox. Through direct contact, touching a sick person, his clothing, handkerchief or other objects used by him can pass on germs from the sick person to a healthy person. Diseases like measles, common cold and chicken pox spread in this manner. That is why we must keep away the patients who are suffering from infectious diseases, especially from the children, because children catch the diseases even more quickly. Nitty Gritty Varicella vaccine is highly effective in protecting against severe chickenpox. Through insects, mosquitoes or fleas are the blood-sucking insects that spread 
various kinds of diseases like plague, yellow fever, dengue and malaria. Plague is caused due to the bite of rat. Malaria is spread by a protozoan carried by the female Anopheles mosquito. Many people have died because of these diseases. Preventing Infectious Diseases 1. Germs breed in dirty surroundings. So, if we want to prevent diseases from spreading, we must keep our surroundings clean. If we throw garbage here and there, we invite germs and mosquitoes. Dustbins must be kept wherever necessary. 2. All drains should be clean and covered to prevent the breeding of flies and mosquitoes. 3. Do not let water stand near your house to avoid the breeding of mosquitoes. Spray DDT around your house and in your surroundings to kill mosquitoes. 4. Fresh air and strong sunlight kill germs. It is very important that a house should have proper ventilation. The bedding in the house should be neat and clean. 5. Drinking water should be neat and clean. The water can be purified by boiling, filtering and chlorinating. 6. We should keep our home and neighborhood clean. Windows and doors in the house must have proper screens so that insects and flies do not enter the house. 7. Kitchens, toilets and bathrooms of the house should be neat and clean. 2. Deficiency Diseases The diseases that are caused due to the lack of some particular nutrient in a person's diet are called deficiency diet. Some diseases do not spread from one person to another. These are called non-communicable diseases. Some non-communicable diseases are caused by some kind of deficiency. They are deficiency diseases. When a part of the body, like the kidney or liver, does not work properly, it is called disorder. Deficiency diseases can be divided into three groups. 1. Protein caloric malnutrition 2. Vitamin deficiency diseases 3. Mineral deficiency diseases Protein caloric malnutrition this disease is caused due to the improper intake of food. This deficiency affects the children lesser than 5 years of age. Most common diseases under this category are marasmus and koshiko. These diseases are caused because of lack or imbalance in the consumption of proteins and carbohydrates. The World Health Organization WHO cites malnutrition as the gravest single threat to the world's public health. Improving nutrition is widely regarded as the most effective form of aid. Marasmus It is caused due to the deficiency of proteins or carbohydrates or both in our diet. Some of the major symptoms of marasmus are 1. Affected child looks dull and weak. 2. He, she has sunken eyes. 3. He, she has thin and light hair. 4. The skin of child becomes dark and starts peeling. Prevention Breastfeeding by mothers is the best measure to prevent marasmus. The affected child should be given food rich in proteins like wheat, groundnut, roasted powdered gram, fruits, green vegetables, pulses, soya beans and skimmed milk. Koshyoko This disease is caused by major deficiency of proteins. This disease affects the children between the age group of 1 to 3 years. This is not common in developing nations, where famine conditions can bring about the disease. Some of the major symptoms of Koshiko are 1. Lose of appetite 2. 
often has diarrhea. 3. Legs become long, thin and curved. 4. Enlarged liver and belly sticks out. Child affected by Koshyokor. Prevention Affected child should be given pulses, eggs, milk, rich, fish, cheese, potato, sugar, etc. Soft boiled food items like dalia and mashed vegetables can also be given to the child. Vitamin deficiency diseases Vitamins are Scurvy can be prevented by using citrus fruits like orange, lemon, amla, guava, grapes, etc. Rickets Rickets is among the most frequent childhood diseases in many developing countries. In this disease, the bones of legs become thin, deformed and curved. The lack of vitamin D is the cause of this disease. Rickets can be prevented by taking milk, butter, fish, meat, etc. Sunlight is also an important source of vitamin D. Mineral Deficiency Diseases Minerals are essential for carrying out various metabolic and functional activities in our body. They keep the blood free from diseases. Minerals like calcium, iron, fluorite, iodine, zinc, and sulfur are needed by a body. There are some diseases that are caused due to deficiency of minerals. Anemia Deficiency of iron causes disease of the blood called anemia. Iron deficiency reduces the hemoglobin content of the blood. The three main classes of anemia include excessive blood loss, excessive blood cells destruction, or deficient red blood cells production. An anemic person looks pale and tired. To prevent anemia, the affected person should eat food items rich in iron such as apple, banana, spinach and meat. Goiter A goit also called a bronchoceal is a swelling in the thyroid gland which can lead to a swelling of the neck or larynx voice box. In goiter, our thyroid gland becomes enlarged. This disease is caused due to the deficiency of iodine. The affected person should eat seafood, leafy vegetables and iodized salt. There are some other processes by which non-communicable diseases can be prevented. Child affected by goiter. Pasteurization Pasteurization is done so that the milk is pure and safe. It kills 
harmful bacteria in milk by boiling the milk for about half an hour or more and then it is cooled quickly so that the germs are killed vaccination vaccination is very important it protects children from diseases like diphtheria whooping cough measles tetanus and polio vaccination is done through injecting or given orally to the child these help the child's body to 